some wild plants are way more popular than others. This is the case, for example, for mushrooms or for wild garlic. And it's also the case for the plant I'm looking for today. And uh, this plant, here where I am, in France, I am in the north of France to be precise, it's called aspergette. It means literally small asparagus. And in English, it has several names, uh, wild asparagus, bath asparagus, Prussian asparagus, I think, uh, always asparagus. But in reality, it's not an asparagus, it's just not the same plant. But of course, like the popular names of plants and the scientific names of plants are not always the same. And as I said, it's a popular plant. Here in this location, a lot of people know that asperget is here. So a lot of people come here to forage. So I don't know if I will find some. I hope so, so I can show at least a few. But we will see. Let's go. Okay, I already found a few. The edible part of the plant is the young shoot of the future flower. All these thin yellow leaves on the ground are aspergettes, wild asparagus. The vast majority of young shots have already been harvested. So I just came back from the harvest. This is what I got. Not bad. So asperget can be eaten raw. It's perfectly edible raw, but most of the time people eat them cooked. Just have to boil them for five minutes and it's fine. Then you can put them with salad, with anything. So I will cook them and then I will taste them. So this is what asperget looks like when it's cooked. And of course it's 
it's very very good mm. extremely tasty extremely tender i understand why people go out in the woods looking for it and some people are also selling aspergettes on the markets now i will share this and uh, thanks for watching oh and uh, this is what i did uh, for my lunch with the aspergette there are 10 plants here most of them wide but a few from the garden also